What's going on YouTube? Yama Yachty. welcome to the channel. And in today's episode, guys, we're gonna change the oil on my 2022 Yamaha MT-09 SP. It's got about 550 miles, so the first oil change is due. We got a new filter, we got some new oil. It'll be super simple, but really quick, guys. I wanna thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for supporting the channel. I wanna say Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's, and guys, I was super grateful this year that my dad was able to be home for Christmas and spend it with his family. Uh, a few months ago, my dad fell off a roof. My dad is 70 years old so it took a toll on him physically and uh he was in and out had a few surgeries but thank god he pulled through and he was able to recover in time to be home for christmas so pop i want you to know that i love you i'm super grateful for you being home for everything you've done for me and my family for us and pop i want you to know that you're loved you're blessed and that you will always be my hero and everything that i do is because of you and mom thank you so much for taking care of pop in this time i love you too and i just want you guys to know that i love you from the bottom of my heart so in this video guys we're gonna go ahead and do that so if you want, stick around, stay tuned, and enjoy. If any of this content interests you, do me a huge favor. Don't forget to hit the like button. If you want, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification to be notified of all new uploads. All right, guys, so there is my 2022 Yamaha MT-09 SP. And as you guys can see, it has over 500 miles. Not sure how much exactly. All right, 518 miles. So we're gonna go ahead and do the first oil change because it says to do it at 500 miles. So we'll be doing that. And uh, here is the things that we're gonna need to do this. You need the oil filter, which I got the Yamaha stock oil filter there. I got this at my dealer. There is the part number. And I'll leave that in the description section of the video so you guys can pick one up. We're also going to use the mold tool 7100 guys i know that many of you will probably say man you should use the yamalu but this is the the oil that i've been using and i've always had really good luck with it so i'm going to stick with what i know and guys instead of using a hammer and a screwdriver like my previous video to take out the filter i ended up picking up this uh show chrome accessories filter wrench by big parts um super nice it was only 13.95 and this is a two and a half inch uh, filter wrench now they called it a six-sided wrench because obviously it probably has six sides but this is what you're going to need here and uh, that was a pretty cheap purchase so filter wrench big bike part two and a half inch i'll leave the link and uh, obviously guys you're going to need an oil pan as well and uh, i'm going to go ahead and pop up the bike on the stand and start from there Guys, you're gonna need an oil pan, so go ahead and put it under the bike in preparation. Once you take off this bolt here, oil will dump in there, and that's pretty much the start of the oil change. All right, grab you a 17 millimeter socket, and you're gonna be loosening up this silver bolt that's right here. I went ahead and pre-loosened it because it was pretty tight. And once you get it broke free, get the pan lined up. And you can either try to hold this screw or just let it dump. Mine's got the little grate here so the screw won't fall in, so I'm just gonna let it dump out once it gets loose. Boom. All right guys, while the bike is still draining out some oil, I'm gonna get this new filter wrench and remove the filter. Oh man, I really like this thing. There we go. All right guys, while this is draining, I'm gonna do some work around the garage and then we'll come back and reverse everything we just did. All right guys, go ahead and get your new filter, open it up and the instructions tell you, once you take this off, which is a pain in the butt sometimes, you get some oil. So I just kind of get the oil that's right here and it says to basically lubricate the O-ring of the new filter. So go ahead and get some oil on your fingertip and go ahead and rub this O-ring pretty good. And once you do that, you go ahead and just hand screw it back in as tight as you can and then go ahead and use the wrench to tighten up the rest. As you can see, you see it kind of scratches it up a little bit. So just do it kind of softly and you should just feel it pretty much get pretty tight. And once you feel it tight like that, you don't have to over tighten it guys. Just once you feel it tight where it doesn't want to spin no more, just give it a little push and that's pretty much it. All right guys, before you put this back in, make sure that the lock washer or that crush washer is still there. You do not want to lose that. Now, every few oil changes, you will have to change that out. But since it's the first oil change, you'll be okay with go ahead and reusing it. Go ahead, put that back in. Now some people ask me, how tight do you put it? I just put it to where I feel like it's tight. Go ahead and check your instruction manual for the torque pound settings if you want, but I just do it till I feel like it's tight. And uh, you don't need much pressure to make it tight. I mean, that's pretty much it right there. 
nice and tight. And I'm gonna go ahead and get a chamois. This is my oil chamois. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down some of these areas that oil may have dripped on. So that way, it's nice and clean. All right, guys, I usually keep old juice bottles around just to dump the old oil out and then make sure we dispose of this correctly. All right, guys, last but not least, go ahead and open up this plug that's here on the side of the bike. It's just under the clutch. Sometimes they are tough, but this one came off pretty easy. It has an O-ring here, so make sure that you do not lose that as well. And uh, this is what I've been using. I call it the slinky hose. Just kind of hold it like this, and we'll go ahead and put in some oil. Now, it says it takes 3.38, so just a little over three quarts. But I'm going to go with three quarts first, let it sit for a second, and then I'll check it, and then add as much as I need to make sure it gets the right amount. This oil is draining super slow, probably because it's like 38 degrees here in Florida. It says it takes 3.38, so 3 quarts, 0.38. If you're replacing the filter, it's just under 3, like 297 if you're leaving the filter. I don't know why you would leave the filter, but if that's the case, that's the amount. But I went ahead and I got 3 quarts in there. I'm going to try on the bike, let it run, and then just add what I need to get it to the right level in the uh, sight glass that comes on the side of the bike. Make sure you put this cap back on before you uh, turn on the bike. <laughs> All right, now that we let the bike run for a little bit, we'll go ahead and drop it off the stand. We'll try to center the bike and we'll look at the uh, sight glass to see the level of the oil and add whatever we need. Or if it's good, we'll just leave it the way it is. All right, guys, so there it is. Basically, you want the oil in between the two lines that are there. Um, it's a little higher than what I probably would like it to be, but basically, as long as it's in between those two lines that are to the right of the glass, you should be okay. If you feel like it's too much, uh, you could just take some out, and if you feel like that's plenty, then leave it the way it is. I do have to ride the bike a little bit, so maybe it will lower once I ride for a little while, but guys, that's basically where you're gonna want the oil level as you change your oil and use the sight glass as a reference. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, dang. Let me see. Yeah, wake up, wake up. All right, guys. Go ahead and make sure that this is nice and secure. And then get down here after you run the bike like I just did for about 15, 20 minutes. Come and see if there's any oil leaking from here or any oil leaking from the filter. That way, if it is leaking, you know that you have to tighten it up a little more. And if not, then you're pretty much good to go. So there's no oil here, no oil down here. And that seems to be pretty tight. So there you go, guys. Pretty simple to do it yourself. Just get the right tools. Use what you got like I usually do and check your manual for all the torque setting that you guys need in order to do this correctly but guys you know how i do it yamayati style it's a little different but i do what works for me do what works for you and uh guys till the next one be blessed ride safe take it easy on them filthy streets and happy new year merry christmas and blessings peace